Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this video, I'm going to talk about a type comparison operator called instance of. And what instance of is, is it's a Java keyword. Um, all Java keywords, in Eclipse at least, are this maroon color. And they can only be used for one thing. That's why they're keywords. And what it will do is the instance of operator compares an object to another specified type and you can use it to test if the object is an instance of a class an instance of the subclass or an instance of a class that implements a particular interface so what that means is I'm gonna draw a real abstract um, useless program and just to give you the idea of what a instance of can do. So first I'm going to create an interface. I'm just going to call this interface. Um, make sure it's capital I. If it was lowercase i it wouldn't work because interface as you can see right here the lowercase is also a reserved word or keyword. So I'm not going to put any code in there. I'm going to write a class and we're going to call this this Super class, yeah, that'll be fine. And we can, uh, let's see. Let's just see what we say. Interface default package. Okay, so you can put an interface in when you create a class, or you can just type it. And I never really use this, so I'm kind of going off the cuff right now. And it does work, so that worked. Now let's create another class and we're going to call this a subclass and it will the superclass that's extending is a class called superclass and I'm not going to put any methods or anything within these classes the point of this tutorial is to see we're going to instantiate objects from these classes but we're going to test if something is an instance of a particular class so Let's uh, create a super class object. Um, let's just call that uh, S1. And we'll say equals new super class. And we don't have any parameters, obviously, so we just open and close some parentheses and a semicolon. And now we're going to create a subclass. And we'll say S2 equals new subclass okay so the we're going to want to print out the results um, so I will end up putting the code I'm about to write in a system dial dot print line statement but the way you structure this is a little bit different from the way you're used to coding what you're going to say if you want to test if s2 is an instance of S1, which means is this subclass an instance of the superclass, which it should be because it, it extends the superclass. You're going to say S1 in a space, and you're going to say all uh, lowercase letters instance of space, and see how it turns that maroon color. Make sure if it's not turning that maroon color in Eclipse, then you're not typing it right, and you're going to say S2. And that's the code. It's not, uh, let me see why it's giving me error now. But we're going to put this in a, um, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not supposed to do it to the variable type. You're supposed to, uh, do an instance of the actual class name. So let's say super class. Sorry about that. So now what we want to do is we want to system.out.println this code. And like I said, this should be true because say S2. Sorry. So the, the subclass S2 should be an instance of the superclass because um, the superclass extends or uh, the subclass extends the superclass. So let's see what happens. And these are it will return a boolean result true or false and that's true so let me copy and paste this and make a couple of these copy paste 
this, 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 this. Okay. So now let's say is S1 an instance of the superclass. Now I'm going to comment these out. And S1 is the superclass, so it should be an instance of it. So another true. Okay, now let's test if the subclass, or excuse me, the superclass is an instance of the subclass. I'm going to let you think about this for a second before I hit the run button. So, is the superclass an instance of the subclass? Does it come from the subclass? And the answer is false. No, because the subclass actually comes from the superclass. So, going up in the hierarchy is going to return a false. Let's say, um, is S1... Excuse me. Is is S two an instance of the subclass? And you should already know that from the above example. Anything that is of that class is an instance of that class. That's true. So now let's use this interface and see how that works. Say is S two an instance of interface? And these are very abstract names, just kind of explaining what that would be but in a real world situation you wouldn't really want to call the classes these names or the interface that name and that's true s2 is an instance of the interface and s1 should be as well true so that's what instance is instance of it is and there's also another little method i wanted to show you if you lose track of a variable um, name to an object and you want to figure out what class it belongs to, you can run a simple little code, um, sys out, control space, and it would be, let's, let's say that we were way down here in this code and we wanted to know what class S1 belonged to. Write s get class. And if you run that, it should print out superclass. It says the class it belongs to is superclass. So that's this this tutorial is basically just showing um, the relationship again, you know, beating inheritance into your head and implementation. And the next video is going to be on polymorphism and it's going to take inheritance to a different approach of inheritance. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.